hey guys welcome back to the channel so guys in this video this is going to be an interesting video mm, i'm beginning to like this whole thing finally to adopt a child is not only when you go to the orphanage and you start following procedure long process and all of that some of them might not even tell you some some of them might even reject your application after which you have spent a lot you know the process and a whole lot of stress but right now in the nollywood space it shows that their heart is large, especially for those who has gained ground on the industry. So many of them extend their helping hands to adopting new ones into this. Okay. So in the case of Uchi Nancy and Obio Olibubi, you guys know how it happened. And Destiny Iteko and her adopted daughter, you guys know how it also happened. Like these are the few ones that I am pretty sure that a lot of people know about how it started. Like these people are not in any way. I mean, these this are not just, you know, ordinary fan bringing them frames and all of those things they did they, they do for celebrities. But these people are people that this this actors, this big actor producer single-handedly took over responsibility over and take them in as their own so on this video we're going to be talking about the process everything and how this guy chidi dk came into limelight and who really did this for him and how he was finally adopted by ruth kadiri so people if today is your first time coming across the channel please do not make it your last time by subscribing to the channel turn your bell notification post on to be able to receive notifications from youtube whenever we drop any video firstly chidi's full name is miracle chidi Diki, who hails from abia state in the eastern part of nigeria okay this is just you know introduction to his name if you want to see his full biography please go and watch the video on the channel i dropped a video of his biography in case you want to know his real age a lot of people want to know how old this boy is or this guy is because so many people said or so many people have it in their mouth that this guy is too young you know for the kind of ladies that are you know for the kind of ladies that are giving him to you know act with so many people are really you know having this as a doubt if this guy is really a child or you know but you are going to find out on his biography video on the channel so guys coming up to this guy how he met ruth kadiri he was in secondary school when he was attending numerous auditions and casting so he came to lagos during his holiday and he decided to go for a popular you know nollywood casting that he, he said he saw it on the internet that he decided to go for it because of his acting skill, the way he interpreted his role, the way he knew everything just like as a first timer. But he said little do people know that he was actually doing, you know, some drama in his church and all of that. But the way he played the role they gave him, it was actually a very big role that he is not supposed to take as a first timer or as somebody who just came for the audition. But he did it, he delivered well producer like him and all of that then somebody from the crew introduced him to Ruth Kadiri's production then he went to the he went to her production and also did some auditions and everything she saw that this guy was good but she refused to give him a role and tell him to come back and also tell him that he looks so small for the kind of role she wants to give him so that was where everything started so ruth did not you know she did not take him or accept him for that job he left he was really moody he came back again the same day he was also trying to you know give his best but still yet they rejected him almost three consecutive times then he found himself at the gate he was crying he was bored he was sad people were asking you know some people were cheering him up this is not the end of the road this that and you know stuff like that then the guy was like he really don't want to go back like this movie or acting has been his thing since he was a child and explained to them how he started you know in his church drama and all of that so Lizzie didn't know that Ruth Kadi was actually on the on the top roof of that building watching him he was crying he was sad 
you get that kind of a thing for a guy like a guy like him to stand outside and shed in tears he was really not happy then she sent for someone to call him upstairs and bet me he said it was not he was not the only one who came for the auditions people who are really good top people people who he knew that you know they really did good on that day but guess what he was the one that Ruth Kadiri later selected to do that particular video he did so that was how she took him into his to her house gave him a very comfortable room nice bed you know to just rest and sleep till the next day instead of him going back home that very day so guys that was where everything started the moment she brought him to her house make him feel comfortable you know what it, do you know what it means to bring a stranger closer to you bring someone who you don't even know from anywhere he was coming all the way from you know the east to lagos and you just took him without even without a second thought or anything so that was how everything started he became very loyal humble to Ruth Kadiri to the extent he calls her mother and Ruth calls him son so that was how she legally adopted him as her son and when he did that first movie with Genevieve Okansu Ruth was marveled at his at his interpretations at his courage his confidence not even minding that these people are senior colleagues in the industry you know he doesn't as in the fear was not there as a first timer he just delivered perfectly she was marveled she was astonished very surprised that this guy could do this kind of big job and he did it did it very well so the first time she dropped that video on her white on, on her youtube channel that video clocked two million views for about four days then the last one he did the better half he did with uchi montana was around 5.8 million three days guys like you know at times i just feel like this thing called luck has people it really favors very well because so many people has been in the industry for quite some decade for years and haven't even achieved this kind of visibility or publicity then this guy from nowhere came everybody are talking about him he just like swept off all other you know young guys in the movie industry all the females attention was just on this guy people young ladies want to now you know have have him act with them especially this romantic movies so he said Ruth Kadiri was really nice she is indeed a mother she has a heart of gold and he, she made him feel very secure very comfortable very happy like he doesn't even want to go back to his parents anymore that Ruth Kadiri did exactly what a real mother would do to her son or her children entirely so he was really grateful to her and everything so guys that was basically how she adopted him and gave him this platform now he can act in any production like anybody you know i know i know how nigerian producers are everybody wants to have him now on their film so all thanks to Ruth Kadiri for for bringing out the best in this guy you guys also remember that Uchi Nancy was the one who brought out the best in Olu Ibube. That was how people started, you know, hearing this, hearing about her. She went viral, went popular, gained a lot of publicity. People really liked her and all of that. So, guys, that was how he became her Lego biological son. Hmm. But this guy, Amori Sam, is really in a big competition, guys. I'm telling you, and I know what I'm saying. Because it was Marie Sam who was everywhere. And then this guy has swept off his feet in the movie industry. Anyways, let's see how this goes. And loves, that's all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll end it here. If you do like it and enjoyed the video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you back on the next video. Bye.